Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Beatriz. Hello, Hello, Veronica. How are you? Hey, you are very punctual all the time. <laughs> if I have to give a uh, recognition awards at the end of the of the module, I am going to give you one because you were always the first ones. <laughs> Siempre que entro o está verito o después entra ella. Yeah, no, pero muy bien, muy bien que siempre sean como las primeras, qué chivo, qué buena costumbre. Qué buena costumbre. Siempre platicamos, ¿verdad, Verito? Sí, siempre nos ponemos a platicar en inglés. Ah, ok, ok. I want to see that. Hello, Moises. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Aquí, está, aquí estábamos platicando con las chicas que ya siempre entran mucho más antes a platicar. En <risa> inglés. Esa es una pre-practice. Y luego dicen, el profesor está llegando, el profesor está llegando. Y luego están hablando. Sí. Ok, bueno, 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 bueno. Moisés. Thank you. Hello, Berito. Hello, Ana. Hello, Moses. Hello, Moses. Okay. And have you have you ever seen yourselves in in like you mean in real life? No. No, never. Like ya se han encontrado, ya se han visto así en vivo, and no. Sí, somos compañeros de trabajo. Okay, so that's sí. good. Okay, that's good. In Pero the morning. Okay, Ah, uh -huh. no está muy lejos. En San Miguel. San Miguel. Bueno, pero ya se han, ya se han juntado en algún evento, me imagino. Yeah. Sí, sí, en las visitas a la, a la sucursal donde ella, donde ella está. Ok, cuando Moisés llega de supervisor, ¿eh? Sí, sorpresa, evaluaciones. Oh, my goodness. Surprise, <risa> surprise, surprise. <risa> Moisés Adalberto en José Moisés. <risa> Yeah, Ay, like it's, and, and when you are here, it's like, oh, Moises, ha, 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 hu, hu, hu. But when you see him enter into the store, it's like, oh, you run away, right? No, oh, no. It's like, push, I hear the Moises, shh, did you escape, right? No, para nada. Okay. Hey, hello, Jose Moises. How are you? Good evening. Yeah, it's funny because in the screen, in the screen, I have Moises Adalberto and Jose. Other Moises. También. But who's the original? Sí. <laughs> Who is older? Moisés Alberto, how old are you? Um, quiero ver, es 36. 36. ¿En José Moisés? How old are you? Uh, 40. 40. Ah, no, so it's 40, 40. Don Jose Moises, so he's older. <laughs> <laughs> My respect, right? My respect for you, right? Aquí acá pues no, Jose Moises. You are number two. <laughs> Abdiel, what were you doing? Push-ups. ¿Qué estabas haciendo, Abdiel? Pechadas. Ah. Push-ups. <laughs> Push-ups. Pechadas. Ya, ya, no. <laughs> Because I saw you on the floor and I said, like, what is he doing there? <laughs> Hello, Roberto. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Veronica. It's nice to see you. Hello. It's nice teacher. to see you in camera. But you see, Mr. Mr. Yes. Moises Alberto. You don't you don't look like 40. Cualquiera lo ve y no, yo no le creo que tiene 40. Ah. Do you believe him? Tra traga años. Ajá. No, pero sí, pero ya ya tiene ya tiene 40. Sí. No, well, muy. No, you look young. I I could have bet that you were like 24 or something. Uh, okay. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, and Jose, so muy... Jose Moisés would be like 30. The top, 30 years old. <laughs> Yeah. Roberto, how old are you? 32 years old. 32. And Abdiel? 
Thirty. 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 Yeah, the ladies we are always fifteen, so I don't ask you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean we are like ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, because we need the doing, right? And that's the top. Yeah. Yeah, hasta ahí llega. Yeah, from eighteen up. That's it. Ana Beatriz, how old are you? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Hey, you're young. You're very young. Veronica. Thirty-four. She's thirty-four. You see, she doesn't look like. Veronica, how old are you? Ah, she ran away because she didn't want to answer the question. You see, <laughs> she was in camera. <laughs> she ran away. How old are you? Ana Beatriz <laughs> is 34. How old are you? <laughs> How old no. are you? Mr. Abdiel is 30 years old. Roberto, 32. Mr. Moises, Mr. Moises. Yeah. It's yes. 40. And you? Forever 25. Forever 25. Forever. <laughs> 15. 15. ¿Cuántos años tienes, Verónica? Ok. Este, 15. Es un gran rollo el de ella. 50. Oh. Wait. 30. Ah, 30. 30. 30. 50 30, es 30. 50. No, no, no. It's just like, come back. It's like... <laughs> 30, 30, 30. Okay, 30, good. Yaritza, how old are you, Yaritza? Hi, I am 25. 25. Oh, she's very young. Good. And Mr. Isaías? I am 28 years old. Another young, young soul. So you see, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And Jyoti, how old? <laughs> How old do you think I am? Uh, 28. 28. 28. 28. Yes, exactly like that. <laughs> Ahí dejémoslo. <laughs> no, I am I am 36. Really? Yes. On Wednesday, I am going to be 37. Oh. Yeah. It's near to 14. Ah, uh, to 14, not to 40. 14. One day I was I was thinking on Ricardo Arjona when she said like, eh, señora de las cuatro décadas. And I was like, oh my God, three years. Three years to that. I said, no, come on. <laughs> no. no, but I really enjoy it. I think, I think because I always teach very young people like you, I am never getting old. I am just going backwards. Creo que la juventud de ustedes se me pega a mí como docente. So, it's cool. Yeah. Así que no, el miércoles lo recibo con mucho cariño, los 37. I have done many things in my life, so I don't regret about anything. Mr. Marlon, very young and smiley. How old are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. I am 24 years old. 24. Ah, me acuerdo cuando tenía 24. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Soltera y feliz. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Yes. Happy birthday. Ah, thank you okay. very much. Thank you. I'm going to get it from there. Yeah, ahí le paso la dirección y me lo manda por Hugo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like carrot cake. cake. Carrot cake. That's a very good thing. Okay. Por aquí, como los que, los que dice, síganme en YouTube. Por aquí, virtual. por aquí dejo la dirección para que. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, flowers. Virtual flowers. So that's cool. Hey, that's very nice. So you see, I am very good that I am going to give you vacation that day. You are going to have vacation. You are going to enjoy vacations on my birthday. Esa es la única desventaja de ese día de cumpleaños. Que como todo el mundo se de vacaciones, a todo el mundo se le olvida. Y después, ¡ah! Ayer era verdad. Porque todo el mundo anda celebrando. Así. Pero a todos les doy vacaciones. Siéntanse felices. Ok. 
So this was the last topic that we studied on the previous class, right? The adverbs of frequency and how frequently you do different things, right? Before going uh, to this topic, we were talking about the normal breakfast that we have in different countries and we were comparing, right? The different things that we eat for breakfast in Mexico, the things that we eat for breakfast in uh, Korea, the things that we eat for breakfast in El Salvador, and we were creating this conversation, right? This was the last thing, yes or no? Do you remember? Do you remember this that we did in the previous class? Yeah. Okay, good. So we were also talking about the adverbs of frequency, right? That we go from 100 being the top and zero being the least, right? A hundred that it's always, usually, if we mark it in a number, usually will be around what? 95, let's say, or 90% of the times, usually. Often it will be like an 85, right? An 85%. Sometimes will be 50. Yeah, I am not very good with the pencil, don't worry. 50% hardly ever will be like a 35. And we have almost never and never, right? That would be 0%. So tell me how often, or I have two questions for this one. Uh, the first question will be how often, how often do you, and you can mark the rest of the question. For example, here you say, how often do you eat beans for, breakfast how often do you eat beans for breakfast ¿Qué tan seguido? Okay. how right. often do you eat beans for breakfast you can say i always eat beans for breakfast i usually i often i sometimes i hardly ever or i never if you are from another country maybe you are going to tell me i never but if you are I from always. el salvador i always, I always. Right? How often do you eat beans for breakfast? What will be your answer? So you say, for example, here, and this is the way you mark the answer. You say, um, I always eat beans for breakfast. I usually eat beans for breakfast. I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, or I never. What will be your answer? How often do you eat beans for breakfast? I always. I always what? Eat beans for breakfast. Excellent. How often do you eat pancakes for breakfast? Mm, I hardly ever eat pancakes for the breakfast. How often do you eat a fish for breakfast? I How never often? eat. I never. I eat for fish. For okay, who said I sometimes? Sergio. Who said I sometimes eat fish for breakfast? Okay. ¿Quién es el que come pescado a veces en la mañana? Ah, sí, dije, Okay. Okay, Sergio I was like, ah, that's Sergio. <laughs> Okay. How often? How often do you eat? Yeah, I see. Vive en el puerto. El desayuno de los que viven en el puerto. Hey, yo vivo en el puerto. Really? Y que vive en el puerto. Do you? No, pero no vivo hasta allá. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But near vivo the mediado. near the beach. Así que como un medio pescado. Ah, okay, okay. But it's good. I mean, fry fish at the beach. For breakfast, maybe, but if you are here in the country? Uh, breakfast now. <laughs> the lunch. For lunch. How often do you eat fish for lunch? How often do you eat fish for lunch? And sometimes. Never. Never. Yeah, because it's an animal, right? For sure. <laughs> I am very bad at eating fish. I mean, the complete animal i am very bad because i am always afraid of the of the spines and i am like 
digging. Oh, en, en, en español se dice diferente pez y pescado. En inglés, fish es fish. Fish is fish. Fish. Yeah. In English, it is very common and that's a cultural thing. Uh, you might say, like, what is the difference between fish in normal and fish in plural? You say fish in normal and in plural is fish. But you can say fishes when you have, let me write it here, fishes in the only way that you can use it is when you have different types of fish. That you have goldfish, bluefish, the other type of fish in the same place, right? In that case, you have fishes. But if you are talking about fish in plural, it's fish. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish, if they are equal. But if they are different species of fish, they are fishes, okay? This is a tip cultural of the night. Do you ever, do you ever, do you ever go to the beach for Christmas? Yes. I, you say yes, I sometimes, I often, I, never I, I never. I never. Say I never go to the beach for Christmas. Do you ever have a pupusas for lunch? Oh, I sometimes. I always. I, I oh, pupusas for lunch. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. It is funny when you buy pupusas for breakfast and you don't have time to eat and you eat them for lunch. That happens. Breakfast, lunch, lunch, dinner, dinner. break with coffee. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> with coffee and with bread. Yeah, una pupusa y dos hojitas. In the afternoon. Yeah, so that is the way you use the questions and the adverbs of frequency. Tell me one thing, one thing that you always have to have with your breakfast. One thing that you always have to have with your breakfast. That you can say, I cannot eat breakfast if I don't have that. Mm -hmm. One the thing coffee? that you need to have, coffee, coffee. Okay, one thing that you need to have for your breakfast. So you milk. Say, I always have coffee. I always have milk. Good. What is another thing that you always have with your breakfast? Always have water. Water, good, water. What about- I always have uh -huh. milk. Milk, good. What about French bread? Do you eat French bread for breakfast? Pan Frances? Often. Oh, Often. Oh, I hardly oh, ever. Uh -huh. Ese es como potencial al número de, no, al, al tipo de frijoles que tengan. <laughs> yeah. There is a level for the beans and the breads, right? Si tienen frijoles licuados y crema, there is no level of the breads. We don't have a number for that. Tell me something that you sometimes eat for lunch. Here you have an example. Sometimes I eat breakfast, it says. Sometimes I eat fish. Sometimes I eat fruit. What do you eat for uh, lunch that you sometimes have? Sometimes I eat churros for lunch. Oh, churros. Oh, really? Snacks? Yeah, uh, snacks. Sorry. That's good. Yeah. Chips. Well, in that case, it's chips. Chips for lunch. Yeah. After lunch or with the lunch? After lunch. After lunch. Right. Yeah. It, the problem is when you have this store that sells chocobananos or flanes or paletas or something near your job. That is like, hey, okay, mangoneada, mangoneada. <laughs> and then you go to buy one mangoneada for lunch. So that is something that you sometimes have, right? Do you usually have soda for lunch? I hardly ever. I hardly ever, you say, good. Who always has soda for lunch? Uh-huh. No one. All of you drink water. 
Ajá. Ahora resulta que todos toman agua. I so, often have soda. For I often have soda, you see. Being honest, being honest. Good. So in this one, remember that the preposition, uh, well, the, the adverb of frequency, sorry, the adverb of frequency goes after the subject and before the verb. How are you going to transform this sentence that we have here? If the adverb of frequency goes after the subject and before the verb, what is the subject in this sentence? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Breakfast. Breakfast. In this one that I mark. What is the subject? You. you. Well, in this case, I. I, no. I, right? I and have will be the main verb. So the adverb of frequency has to be in the middle of the two of them. So in this case, you say, I often, often have uh, coffee, coffee, cereal, and juice. Mm -hmm. What about ever? Where do you place this one? Do you ever do you eat, ever do you ever eat breakfast at eat work? Breakfast at work. I and you have sometimes. I sometimes have. I sometimes have. I sometimes have. Sometimes is the only adverb of frequency that you can put at the beginning. Okay. Sometimes is the only one that you can put at the beginning. You can say sometimes I or I sometimes. It's the only one that you can use okay. in the two positions. Lo demás no podemos decir usually I, ni uh -huh. often I. No, only sometimes is the one that you can put at the beginning or in the middle. And do you usually. rice? Okay, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No, I hardly ever. I hardly, hardly ever. ever have uh, rice. Right? No, I hardly ever have rice. And in this one, you have, I have breakfast on never weekends. And the sentence is, I never have breakfast on weekends. What is the second sentence like? Work, I snacks, eat at hardly ever. I eat. I ever. I hardly ever. I hardly eat. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I hardly ever, ever eat, eat snacks at work. Uh, exactly, at work. right? I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Good. What about the next one? Eat for pasta dinner sometimes I. I, I sometimes sometime eat, sometime eat for, for dinner. pasta dinner. Pasta for dinner. Very good. Have I dinner with often family my? I, I often I often have my dinner with no my family I with, often, with my family I often, I often have dinner with my family I often have dinner with my family I, I often have, often have my, dinner, with my dinner with my family very good I often have dinner with my family now similar to these four examples can you give me one original sentence about you If you have here, I, uh, the sentence that you have here, I mm -hmm. hardly ever, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. And the next one we have is, what was the next sentence? I sometimes. Uh, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Eat pasta for dinner and the other one? I often, I often have dinner have with my family. I often dinner. have dinner with my family. With my family. With my family. Now, based on these examples that we have here, I need you to create one original example about you. You can say, I usually, I often, I hardly ever, I never, I sometimes, I always. And give me an activity. Jenny, can you give me one example? 
I usually eat pupusas at breakfast. I usually eat pupusas for breakfast. For breakfast. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Marlon. I sometimes eat pizza for breakfast. I sometimes eat pizza for breakfast. Hey, that's good. That's very delicious with coffee. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so Jose... Wait, what I use eat for breakfast. <laughs> hey, Jose yeah. Moises, go ahead. I usually. I usually. Usually. Bray fats at uh, night. Night. At nine. At night. Ah, nine. Night. No, night. night? No, nine. Night. Nine. Night. 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 Como que me dijera N A I N. Nine. Night. 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 Okay, sorry for my anunciadora that it's barking. Okay. Kiara odia a todo panadero existente. <laughs> yeah. I sometimes eat breakfast at nine. Right, nine. Good, very good. Abdiel, give me your sentence. I sometimes eat bean soup for lunch. Hey, bean soup for lunch. With all the appetizers, right? Avocado, cream, cheese, all this, right? Good, very good. Yeah, Salvadorian style. Roberto. I always eat lunch in my job. In my job, good. Veronica. And sometimes eat hamburger and the lunch. lunch. For lunch, you say. For, for lunch. lunch, you say for lunch, for breakfast, for dinner, or you can say at lunch, that it's the other option. But for at breakfast, lunch. for lunch, for dinner, it's the most common. Thank you. Hamburgers, hamburgers. Hamburger. Let's see, Mr. Isaias. I offer hamburger with fries for breakfast. Hamburgers with fries for breakfast. Yes, este, hamburguesas con papas fritas. For breakfast. The desayuno. Ah, uh, perdón, for, for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, like, <laughs> where, where, where do you buy them? I said, ¿quién vende? Porque nadie vende. Por el almuerzo, lo siento. Papas, hamburguesas y pescado. Yeah, for, mm, for breakfast <laughs> in the port. Ana Beatriz, give me your example. I always take a uh, drink. No. I always take papaya juice in the morning. Papaya juice in the morning. Juice. Good, very good. Hey, let me see. Darita. I, I always drink coffee for breakfast. Vanessa. Um, I usually have coffee in the afternoon. I usually have coffee in the afternoon. That's delicious. Gustavo. Sometimes I eat maruchan for dinner. You sometimes eat maruchan for dinner. Good, very good. Sergio. I usually eat a snack in the English class. Oh, really? What are you eating right now? Uh-huh. That's why you don't keep <laughs> the camera, huh? Huh? Teacher, my camera doesn't work. Teacher, my camera is ruined. Ah, you see. <laughs> That's why you say, teacher, no me funciona la cámara, el internet. Se me cae. Says, yum, 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 yum. Hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Yolanda Jolivet, give me your example. Enjoy it. Uh, I always. Uh, eat that dinner at 7 o'clock p.m. Okay, at 7, okay. That's a very good example. Thank you, Yolanda. When you say 7 o'clock p.m., it's incorrect. You have to say 7 o'clock or 7 p.m. You have to choose one. Say, I always eat dinner at 7 o'clock or at 7 p.m. That's okay. The next question is, and this is in general, 
what is something that you like to eat that many people don't like to eat? For example, I eat Kentucky chicken with honey. With honey? With honey, uh-huh. Con miel? Yes. <laughs> Is that a tip or? I, I eat, I mean, if I have the, the, the Kentucky chicken, I put honey and I, I dip it on honey and I eat it. Oh. <laughs> and, and they will be like, what? Yeah, and if many people don't like it, but you should try it, right? Prueba y me dice. What is something that you eat that many people don't like to eat? Uh-huh. Well, I have a friend who eats sweet bread with beans. Pan dulce, sí, con frijoles. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. I have another one that eats uh, orange with mustard. Naranja con mostaza. Then I am like, Ugh. and he says it's delicious, and it's like, Ugh, I don't like mm. it. Mm. So what is what is that guilty pleasure that you have that not many people like it? Que es ese secreto escondido que tienen ustedes que la gente no posiblemente no le guste. Ajá. Hay muchos que, que, que mojan el pan francés en la gaseosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I don't really like that one. Mm -hmm. Eso es feo. Yeah, and, and they say like in the strawberry soda. And they put sweet bread on the, on the, sweet, on the, the strawberry soda. My mom does that. Really? Yes. Yeah, they so, well I have a I have a friend who eats eggs with curtido. From the, the curtido from the pupusas. He puts it on the egg and he eats it like that. It's like okay. Capcho salsa negra. Aha. Uh -huh. Black yeah. sauce in the pupusas. Anita. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. You see, so those are the things that uh, is really many people will say like you. I, I like, like that. Jamaican rose tacos. Oh, I have never tried those, and they say that they are very good. Um, option, uh, vegan option. Oh, I didn't know, and they say that they are very good. Mexican food. Mexican food. Well, I, I eat, and when I eat uh, tamales, I put lemon in the tamal. <laughs> yeah, that's, I am from Santa oh, yes. Ana, so that's why. People from Santa Ana do that. That you eat the tamales with lemon. So, you see, th those are like the guilty pleasures that you have, that not many people like, and it's like, oh, there, there you have, Adiel has the commercial of the, of the tamales. Oh, and they look good. So we need to try them. Yeah, we need to try them. So think about your guilty pleasure. And if you remember one, send it on the chat, okay? So here I have the last uh, thing about this topic. And it says, uh, what is something that you sometimes eat that you never eat or that you often eat? And let me erase here my tripachuca. There you go. Okay. And here we go. How often do you eat pasta? You say like pasta. Often, sometimes, or never? Often. 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 Hamburgers? Sometimes. 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 Fish? Sometimes. Sometimes. Eggs? Often. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a must. And broccoli? Never. 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 <laughs> never, never. Okay, now you give me another example and we're going to answer. Often, sometimes, or never. Ajá. Cualquiera de ustedes puede darme otro ejemplo. Otra, otra cosa diferente y todos contestamos often, sometimes, or never. Pizza. Pizza. Mm, sometimes. 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 Sushi? 
Sushi. Never. Muy caro. Tacos. Often. 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 Queen. Meat. Never. Oh, often. Sometimes. Never. 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 Tuna. Never. 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 Flor de isote. Isote flower. Never. 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 September. Pacayas. Pacay. Never. 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 Watermelon. Never. Watermelon. Sometimes. Usually. Usually. Let me see another one. Usually. Fresco de... Fresco de carao. Carao. Never. 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 Ew. Pupusa. Oh, often. Often. Always. 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 Chicken soup. Never. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Su mamá cuando hace calor. Hijo, una sopita. It's, it's a very common thing, right? One day I said to my mother, qué calor, mamá, me estoy muriendo. <laughs> ya va a estar la sopa. Y I was like, oh, ¿Cómo se dice patas? Soap, um, sopa de patas. Patas. Mondongo. 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 Never. Mondongo. Never. <laughs> Marisca. Oh, often. Never, never. never. Let me see another one. Cocktail de conchas. Oh, no this is, that would be like um, shelves. Ew, shelves never. cocktails. Never. Never. No. Macarrones. Uh, oh, okay. Never. Oh, never. 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 Use <laughs> um, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are many different. Mushrooms. With mushrooms. Good. Let me see another one. Eh, lemon. How often do you mm. use lemon in the food? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Ice cream. Never. Never. Sometimes. Chocolate. Sometimes. Right. Sometimes. Sometimes. Dark. Sometimes. Sometimes. Dark, chocolate. Dark chocolate. Good. Very good. So. Snack. <laughs> snacks. Snacks. Often, sometimes, often. or never? Often. 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 Sometimes. Good. Sometimes. Very good. Excellent. So it was good when you said, like, sushi. Never. <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> depending, right? Depending on the type of sushi. Well, so on the next class, that is the one that we are going to start right now because we, we have this one in the middle, we are going to talk about sports. Do you practice any type of a sport? For sure, you work in sport lane. Tell me that you practice any type of a sport. Football, basketball. Uh huh. What is your favorite sport? What is your favorite swimming. sport? Boxing. Yoga. Yoga, boxing, swimming. Soccer. 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 Good. Soccer, soccer. Who gives more? <laughs> uh, volleyball, one? baseball. Volleyball, baseball. Good. Another one. Softball. Basketball. Softball, basketball. Good. UFC. UFC. Hey, that's Soccer. good, right? Soccer. Miniature art. Martial, martial arts. arts. Martial arts. Yeah. Yeah. The karate. Karate. Wow. Karate. Kung fu. Kung fu, judo, and all these things, right? Well, if you are married, don't practice karate, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Poor men. I say, yeah. Take one though. Uh huh. Take one though. Good fighting <laughs> the UFC if you are married. Uh, well, car racing. It's a very dangerous sport. Did you see what happened in Rancho Navarra this last weekend? Did you see the accident that happened here in Rancho Navarra? Yes. Because yes, they were. Yes racing cars but it was just like a big thing and they caused a big accident so about sports right we have two topics in this last unit okay this is our last unit 
together. Lo vamos a hacer así, lo vamos a estirar para que no se nos acabe nunca. Sports and abilities, right? Sports and abilities. And before I, I, I continue, I have three questions for you. Do you like sports? Yes or no? What is your favorite sport? And what is your best ability? These are the three questions that we are going to ask to the people in your group. Do you like sports? Repeat with me. Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Like, like. Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Do you like sports? What is your favorite sport? What is your favorite sport? I will add another question. Do you practice? Do you mm. practice that sport? Because it is different when you like it and when you practice it. Because, you, because you can like American football. But do you mm. practice that sport? And say so like, no, I only watch on TV or I sometimes practice, right? And the last one, right? The last question, what is your best ability, right? Abilities are, for example, dancing, writing, cooking, running, uh, I don't know, any specific eating. game, eating, <laughs> okay. Eating, sleeping, and walking are normal abilities, right? Uh. Those are not very good abilities. But there are some people who are good at, at makeup. There are some people who are very good at cooking, at sports, at music, right? What is your best ability? We have these four questions. Do you like sports? What is your favorite sport? Do you practice that sport? And the last one, what is your best ability? These are the four questions that you are going to ask your friends in the group. So I am going to send you to the groups right now. You are going to have this mini discussion with your friends, and then I am going to bring you back for you to report findings, okay? Cuando regresen, van a reportar de qué platicaron y cuáles fueron las respuestas de su grupo, okay? So let's go to the groups right now to discuss the four questions. Vamos a discutir estas cuatro preguntas in the group. So let's go to the groups right now. Hey, I didn't copy the questions. Oh my God. Uh -huh. I am going to send them in WhatsApp, don't worry. Okay, let's go Creo to the group. No, oh, accept the invitation. Okay. You got it? ¿Te llegó la invitación? No. Okay. No. Te voy a mover a otro grupo entonces. There you go. Yes? Good. Excellent. So I am going to send the questions to the groups so they can have them there and they can discuss. Here it is. I am going to send the questions to the group and I am going to go and see how the groups are doing with the questions. Okay, so right now I am just going to go and check what the students are talking about. Let's go to see the groups. La otra es, do you practice that sport? No, no las mandaron. Sí, al grupo las acaban de mandar. Vaya, Pero de todas your... maneras. Where is, where, la segunda cuál era? What is your favorite? La segunda sport? es Sí, what is your favorite sport? La tercera es Do you practice that sport? Do you practice that sport? 
Y la última es, what is your best ability? A little. <laughs> ability, fuerte. ability is uh, dancing. Yes, the ability is that you you can uh, uh, do bets. Yeah. Yes, exactly like that. <laughs> oh, Gustavo is in this group, right? I love that Gustavo has this mini manual for the classes. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay. Okay, Moises, so answer the question. Like Go ahead. Sorry? No, no, no. Uh, this question is for Moises. The microphone, there you go. Um, I like sports, soccer. Okay. <laughs> what is your best ability? I ability. I can, you say I can. I can, I can. ability. No, I can, only I can. So what is your best ability? Uh, Abilities okay. are the things that you can do. For example, I can dance. That's uh, my ability. I, I, I think that I can I dance. Can, I can uh, basketball. I can play. I can play basketball. Excellent. Uh, it's your best ability. It's hamburgers. Uh, no, exacto. Ay. Okay. ¿Quién falta? Abdel, what is your best ability? Um, my my best ability is sirsasana. ¿El qué? Okay. What is that? Um, oh. El que? Look, look, look. He's showing that in the picture. Ah. And, and what is the name of that? In Asana of Yoga. Oh. Interesting. Um, es, bueno, no sé cómo se dice parado. Eh, Hanset, no, Hanset es de mano. Uh -huh. Es cabeza, ¿cómo sería? Head. Parado de cabeza. Head. Headstand. 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 Wow. Amazing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> how, how, long, how long have you been practicing yoga? ¿Cuánto llevas practicando yoga? Um, two years. Oh, that's why, right? Try to do it right now. If you are starting, ah, you are going to fall down, right? But after two years of practice, wow, that's cool. Very nice. So you are not going to have problem the day of the presentation of the abilities. Yeah, el último día cuando hagamos la presentación de las habilidades no vas a tener problema. Oh. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Do you Moisés. practice that sport? Yoga. No, for others. Ah, well, I really like, uh, and it's curious because it's not a girly Netflix sport. Netflix marathon. No, I don't really like Netflix. Well, <laughs> I, I like it, but I like to play billiards. Ah. Yes, that's not a very girly thing. That you might say, like, I know, pero son de señoritas, but I love it. I really like to play billiards and I, I, I like it and I play it whenever I have the chance. And I like to play basketball too. Okay. I, I am very tall, that's why. <laughs> I am a very tall lady, right? So, mido 1.75. Entonces, ah, sí. so, so, so it's a very good game for a tall girl. Queda no bien, soy... queda bien, queda bien. Yeah, no soy la más brillante del equipo. Yeah, I am very bad. Like, ah. okay. 
but I, I play. I play basketball. Yeah, okay. not very often, but I play. Okay, Good. Thank you. So let's go back to the rooms because you are going to tell me the findings, okay? Let's go back to the... Cool. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Excellent. Well, nice abilities that you discovered in your friends that you didn't know. Hidden abilities. ¿Cuáles son esas actividades ocultas que descubrieron in your friends? Ah, algún crochet. Algún... Uh -huh. For example, Anna can mm -hmm. dance. Anna can dance. Yeah. And now let's play some music for an Anna. <laughs> okay. It's like, no, teacher, no, no. Uh -huh. Any TikToker here? No tenemos ningún TikToker famoso. Jairo. Anna. Oh, really? Anna. Anna. Anna, Anna TikToker. Ana, are you a TikToker? Yes. <laughs> I don't. Really? <laughs> Moises is a TikToker. YouTuber. A YouTuber. Influencer. Hey, influencers, okay. From here to Domino's Pizza. <laughs> yeah. Follow Moises. Follow Moises. Yeah. In, in Instagram, in all the social media, right? Good. Uh, any uh, strange sport that you found or any very sporty person that you found? Encontraron algún sports freak that he loves sports and practices a lot? No? Uh, Roberto is practic uh, Ro Roberto practic uh, soccer. He practices soccer. Good. Teacher, yes. How do you say compañeros de trabajo? Ah, partners or uh, co-workers? Co-workers. Co-workers. Uh -huh. Co-workers. Okay. Do you partners. play? Do you play soccer with your co-workers? Yeah, after the work. Hey, that's cool. That's very nice. Two times a week. Hey, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Any of the ladies who practices a sport? Yeah. Jenny yes. And me practice soccer. Oh, you practice soccer. That's nice. Are you good or bad at playing soccer? I mean, good good players or bad players? That the ones that they say like, how do you call them? Que juegan, juegan limpio, que son que son yeah. que le dicen en el fútbol. Pero tienen una palabra que son leñeros. como leñeros, leñeros, that's the word. I get a word. So are you good or are you bad players? Good. Good players, good players, good. Depending. Depending on who's, who you are playing with. Okay, Veronica, what is your hobby? What is your best ability? <laughs> Come on. In the park. Okay. Your hobby is walking in the park. Working in the park. Okay, and your best ability? We really. Uh, <laughs> what is your best ability? ¿Cuál es tu habilidad? ¿Cuál tu mejor habilidad? Uy, jale. Pero eh, <laughs> no la he encontrado porque no me gusta el deporte. Okay, but any other thing? Like jewelry or, or dancing or I don't know, creating dancing. A... Dancing. dancing, dancing. Good, very good. Who is good? Who is good at using computers? Abdiel. Uh, is... Abdiel. Abdiel is good at using computers. <laughs> good. Gustavo, I think it's good also at using computers. <clears throat> not me, not teacher. I mean, oh, they say. Good. Who is good at 
Uh, cooking. Oh, you see, that's an ability. Me. That's an ability. Who is good at uh, acting? <laughs> I am good at acting. Very good. <laughs> good. Who is good at, let's see, uh, creating hairstyles, working with the hair and all that? En hacer peinados, en crear estilos, en all that. You see, Moisés, it's, it's good at that. <laughs> Pero, José okay. Moisés. Pero, José Moisés, they say. Who is good at uh, driving? But very good at driving. Perito, Ay. in the jipeta. Really? <laughs> Para parquearse. Como que bus. <laughs> okay. Adiós. Tailera. Yeah, definitely. Who is, who is good? Who is good at singing? Mm. Not in the shower, right? In, in, in real life. Singing? No. Singing? No. Well, no. So no. <laughs> who is good at the karaoke? Ah, karaoke. No. I, I like singing in karaoke. I like singing in karaoke. I have right? karaoke in my house. Hey, that's cool. Right. Okay, right now, I think we have one hour to go to Ana, Ana Beatriz's house to have a karaoke night. Let's go. Okay, you can get... La yeah. calle de las sirenas. Oh. <laughs> and you, you sing and dance at the same time. Good. So, those are the different abilities, right? You have to recognize your abilities and you have to think about your abilities. Maybe some people are good at creating foamy figures or some people are very good at this paper um, folding what is the name of this <gasps> i don't remember the name the, the chinese or japanese people do this they fold paper in very specific forms origami origami right origami. some people are very good at sewing right they can make crochet and all these things and they are very good some people are very good at jewelry Right, I like to make these things. Right, I like to make this these things like bisuteria. I, I love to do that. And I think I am good at that. That's an ability, right? Uh, if you speak English, that's an ability. You speak another language. Sorry. And uh, about the different sports, we have many different sports, right? That are the ones that we are going to study for uh, the next class in the next session we are going to talk about sports but so far i am going to show them to you here right some of the sports that we have like in general i am going to show them to you in general right now and then you are going to have the chance to actually read the document one by one right we have different sports like for example archery athletics badminton baseball basketball BMX, you know what's BMX? Yeah. Like the little bicycles? Yeah. Boxing. Boxing. So it's... Chess. Chess is not the food, okay? Chess is ajedrez, right? Chess. Shooting. Shooting. With the... Uh... Yeah, pango. pango. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting, cricket, skiing, <laughs> cycling, diving. <laughs> Diving, that is like buceo, right? Mountain biking, equestrian, fencing, right? Fencing is the one that you place with a with that you that you play with a mask, and then you have a, a, a very like spade and so like on guard, right? That's fencing. That's yeah, exactly like that. Uh, field hockey, skating, football, soccer, golf, gymnastics, horse racing, okay, ice hockey. Jogging, right? Jogging, like when you go to Cerro Verde. Uh, yeah. Right? Jugo, judo, karate, kayaking, paintball, polo. Oh, yeah, Ooh. with the horses that we have, right? For sure. We can play polo. Polo. <laughs> we can play polo. <laughs> we can play polo. Oh. Pool or billiards. That's one of my favorites. Oh, rock, yeah. rock climbing on the wall. Right? Rock, rock climbing. Rugby. Uh, rugby running, running oh, and sailing 
Rugby oh. is a combination of soccer, football, soccer and football, American yeah. football, American. but it's full impact and it's very bloody. A sky jumping, a sky jumping is when you jump from a helicopter. Ah! I wouldn't do that, definitely. A snowboarding, no softball, board. sumo, sumo no, wrestling. Hey, people respect. <laughs> Surfing, no. swimming, table tennis, table tennis, that is ping pong, right? Tennis, bowling, triathlon, that you have swimming, cycling, and running, yeah. volleyball, water polo, and weightlifting. I am going to send you the document so you can see one by one the writing and everything. And tomorrow we're going to finish with this topic in the three definitions of sports, the sports that you do. Yeah. Yes. I have a question. Question me. ¿Qué es el weight? Dice weight lift. Weight lifting. Uh -huh. Levantamiento. Weight lifting. Uh, weight lifting. Weight lifting. Uh -huh. Yes. Weight lifting. Weight Which one? Sailing. 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 Es, eh, eh, how to say, like, um, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Cuando van en, en, en bote, botes, but I don't really remember the name of the sport in Spanish. Rafting? No, rafting. it's not rafting. Rafting is when you go in the river, right, and everything. No, but sailing is like a... Remo. No, remo. it's not remo. I am going to find a specific name for this one. So tomorrow we're going to go over each of them, right? We're going to go one by one, right, one by one. And let me just find the definition of sailing for you to go to sleep well, right? No, vayan a estar a la una de la mañana acordándose. ¿Y qué sería sailing? Bro? No, right. I am going to look for the definition. Navegar. Right Navegar, right? But in boat. When you go in a boat. Navegante. Navegantes. Es como carrera de botes or something like that. And it's something like this. Let me find it here. Like equestrian. When, well, it's like this. I don't know if you can see it. This is sailing. Oh. Velero. Velero. Exactly Belero. like that, right? That's sailing. You see? Si no me va a pasar como el meme del cerebrito, ¿verdad? A medianoche. Sailing. <laughs> I am going to remember it in the middle of the night. Okay, so I am going to send you the list. You can check it. You can analyze it. And tomorrow we can go over each of them in the class, okay? Tomorrow it's going to be, uh, we're going to discuss this one in class and we're going to discuss abilities as well, okay? So be pendent on the, on the chat. I'm going to send you the list of uh, sports and we're going to discuss that on tomorrow's class, okay? My dear students, ha have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. See you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Take care.